Hi guys, welcome to this video. So you know me, I love spreadsheets. So I started doing a maths hammer spreadsheet a couple of weeks ago for me and some friends. Um, and when I'd finished it, I thought, why not make it into a web page? That's what I've done, and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Right then, and here it is in all its glory. I thought I'd put me down in this bottom little corner here. Uh, I don't know why I'm waving my hands around. Because it only takes up uh, half the page. So I figured, why not? So I'll just go through it. So it's called, obviously, Kablam's Math Hammer page. Specifically for Age of Sigma, I've got a 40k one in the works, but I need to work out uh, invulnerable saves and multiple saves, that sort of thing, which you don't tend to find that much of in uh, in Age of Sigma. Certainly not that, that matters. So we start off with the name. So I'm going to do this for my um, for my plague monks. So they wield fetid blades. There we go. Um, usually, when ten of them attack, they're doing thirty at attacks. Uh, four ups, they get a re-roll on that four up. They don't have any rend, and they're going to do one damage each. Now, you've got a target. I don't know what to put down as a target, so I'm going to leave it as humans. <laughs> Let's give the humans a five up save, no re-roll, and then hit calculate. You can see down the bottom here, we've now got the weapon listed, the, hum the fact that they're targeting humans, there's 30 attacks. So 22 and a half hits, 11 and a quarter wounds, three and three quarter saves, leaving uh, seven and a half unsaved damage. It's basically, and it gives you an idea of how much damage you can expect that unit to do. Uh, there'll be a link down in the description to uh, this here page. And uh, like I say, it's just starting at the moment. I haven't got any graphics on it whatsoever. I haven't done any fancy formatting with divs and any style sheets whatsoever. So it's very, very basic. What I've also added, I couldn't fit it on, is this little table here. And what that's showing there is, uh, we've put a, a save in up the top here, but rather than using that, uh, if you wanted to just put uh, the details for a weapon and see what it does against the different saves, this is what this table does here. So against a two plus save, it's doing just under two damage. Uh, against a six plus save, it's doing uh, over nine and no save, I can expect 11 and a bit uh, damage done on the on the unit. Now you'll notice at the bottom here we've got a, uh, a history. So let's put another one in. So I'm going to put in um, Plague Census. Right. Oh. There we go. Again, they'll be doing 30 attacks because they're very similar. So now they'll be hitting on three pluses. Still be getting the re-rolls and they've got Rend minus one. Again, against humans. There we go. So you can see the Plague Sense of Errors, especially against uh, models with a 5-up save, I'm looking to do a lot more damage. If I just, and then if we go down the bottom here, you can see the last uh, thing I did comes up down the bottom as history. So you can compare the two fairly easily. You can see here they did the same amount of attacks. They got the same amount of hits. Uh, in the wounds is where it starts going va vastly different. And uh, there's less saves saved. And so the damage is quite different as well. If I just hit it uh, one more time, maybe against a uh, a two-up human, what you'll find is that we've got uh, history down the bottom here. So it's keeping track of all the different ones. And I found that's really useful in the short time I've been using it for comparing the different things, which is why I put a target name there in the first place. Um, because then you can basically identify the weapon you want to choose, uh, the target that you're doing it against, and then when you've got a nice little table of uh, history down the bottom there that you've built up, you can just copy and paste it somewhere else, and then you can have it uh, for all time. <laughs> we'll take a screenshot and whatnot. So that's what I've been working on. Um, there's not really much else to say about it other than uh, have a go down in the description. You should be able to... Um, Use it on your phone, your computer, tablets, that all that sort of thing. So it's just a basic website, essentially. And if there's anything in it you'd like to see, or if you think that uh, you're, you're, you would use it, or if you wouldn't use it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and of course, if you would use it and you'd like to see something added in there, then um, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm looking to make it into a page that's useful for, for the community, to be honest. So, that's basically all I wanted to cover. Uh, yeah, any questions at all, let me know. Right, keep up with me in between videos over here. If you have been, you may have seen this already. Um, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.